I wanna show you a super neat tool for Resolve that helps you figure out where the beats are in your music and quickly edit things to match. Here I am in Resolve in the edit page and I have my rough edit here that's just visuals, but I wanna put this to music. This is mostly just a visual thing that I wanna sync with some music goodness. And I have a track here. It's real nice. Yeah. But when I drag this down into this part here, I could certainly grab this and kind of move it around and sort of line stuff up visually with these peaks and that might work. But I'm gonna have to kind of zoom in and make sure that these are lined up, which isn't that big of a deal, but every single time takes just a little bit more adjustment than I maybe wanna do. Fortunately, somebody made an amazing tool called Beat Edit. So you can get this from AE Scripts. Here's Beat Edit for DaVinci Resolve. We'll leave a link down in the description. And then you just go ahead and click try and you can download that. That'll download a zip file, extract the zip file to somewhere that makes sense. And that'll give you some instructions. You can either use the AE Scripts Manager app or you can manually install it by dropping it into this folder right here. We'll just paste that whole folder into the utility here. Then it'll be under Workspace Scripts Mamo World. Wonderful. Once you've installed Beat Edit, you go up to Workspace and go to Scripts. And under Mamo World, we select Beat Edit for Resolve. This is going to open up a little window like this, and it's going to ask you to choose your file for your audio. And our song is called Ocean Depth, and I'll open that. And then it'll detect the beats. It says it's 95 beats per minute. And there are a couple different options here. You can have this create markers in the timeline. You can also have it create markers in the clip. It can create a click track, or it can create subtitles. I like to choose clip markers. And you can choose quantize, which is basically does the song change tempo or not. So we'll click quantize because there's no tempo changes. And then we'll hit create. And what this will do is go through and magically analyze the song for the beats. And it's going to put markers all along my track. And once it's done, I can just close this window. And there's no markers in this one. But if I just delete it and drag it down here from the media pool again, there's all my markers. Look at that. And if we zoom in here, we'll notice they're right on the beats. Check this out. So what's the point of that? If we can already kind of see it here in the waveform, why do we need the markers? Well, here's the magic. Check this out. One big thing is if I want to edit this song and make it shorter, I can chop this right on the beats and the measures. As I trim this, it snaps to each of those markers. So I can just snap it to the nearest marker there. Maybe I'll just add a little bit of beginning. There we go. And if I want to Let's see, make this thing about 45 seconds long. Start here, I'll just lock these tracks so I don't mess anything up. So maybe we wanna just do this for a couple measures. Really easy to just cut it right there. I'm just hitting control backslash here to cut this right at the playhead. And then let's pick right here where things start. Again, it's just snapped in. So it just snaps to that and I'll get rid of this and get rid of this and... Just a perfect edit, no problem. And then we want this to end up stopping right around here and kind of fading out. So again, we'll just cut it at the beginning of the measure right there with that yellow, that works good. And we'll just bring it over here. And again, we'll just line that up with the other yellow marker. Just a freaking perfect edit. So I can just crossfade this. Look at that. Dude, that took like just two Five seconds. Yes. Just have this fade out over the next measure. Yeah. Gosh, that was so easy. Look at that. Man, that was so easy to do that. Gosh. That saves so much time. It's ridiculous. Okay, so now that's really easy to edit our song down. But not only that, our other clips can snap to these markers. So I can do something like lock our music track like this, and we can still snap to these markers like this. And I could go into trim mode, like hit T, and then I can just extend these or bring them down to go to the nearest marker. Oh my gosh, look at this. This is just not even a problem. I'm not even having to play this back. I know it's gonna be good just by doing it this way. There we go. So cool. Just so easy to make these line up with the music. Maybe we'll add
add a little jump here too. <laughs> this makes this way less miserable. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm never using a different way to edit stuff to music. This is wild. Perfect. Goodness. We'll just fade this out too. Still need to do some color on this. This is just proxies, but... That's just really hard to be upset about. That was really, really quick. So like I said, when you open up this script, be edit, there are a few different options. You can create those clip markers. You can create timeline markers. I think I would probably do the clip markers most of the time. It's also really nice to do the beat click. So we'll just choose this real quick. I can show you. So we'll create beat clicks. That just makes a new track. And so we can put this track along with our original track and we can see where those clicks are. So that can be really helpful too, if you just want to visually see it with the waveforms. But dang, man, this is one of those genius things that's like so simple, but can easily save hours and hours from your edit, man. It just takes that whole syncing things to music thing, and it takes it from kind of miserable to just creative, removing the stuff that's in the way of being creative. I love that. Big thanks to Mammo World who makes Beat Edit for sponsoring this video. They're helping us out with some really cool stuff and it's an honor to work with these guys. I mean, check this out. This is going to be such a good thing. So make sure to check out Beat Edit. There's a link in the description. Thank you for hanging with me. I really appreciate it today. I hope your edits are well quantized in the future. Bye.